The coronavirus pandemic and efforts to constrain and delay its spread have overnight transformed societies. Physical and social interactions outside of households are now severely restricted in many countries. But we are social beings and our well-being depends on positive social relationships and interactions with others. These restrictions will consequently have profound effects on people's lives. This poses urgent questions for social scientists. Most important of all is identifying what can help governments, communities, schools and health services to minimise the effects of these extraordinary social changes. How are people using technology and how can we help keep people as connected as possible with the tools we already have? What are the effects on young people of school closures and on their parents and carers of trying to balance work with homeschooling and providing food and other necessities? What are the effects among those already living in conditions of uncertainty and threat? The social restrictions imposed by many governments are essential to reduce mortality. But in seeing this through, we need to respond to the effects of enforced social isolation. This is where social scientists and the ESRC, including its new Centre for Society and Mental Health at King's College London, are working to provide the evidence necessary to safeguard people's lives, their health and well-being during a time of unprecedented social isolation and anxiety.